Hi, welcome to another installment of Audio Tech. Today I'm going to do one more video on a multi purpose type of direct injection box. It's another type of a DI box that gives you uh, multiple sources for inputs. And um, when we use these types of devices at um, evangelistic events or at uh, board meetings and things like that, usually somebody has computers, laptops, and they're going to want the sound, not always, but sometimes they have movie clips or sound clips that they're going to want the audience to hear and they want control of it on their laptop. And so we need to get the sound of the laptop into the PA. So how do we do that? Well, you're going to need a quarter inch cable that breaks out into two RCA plugs so that at the back of this unit that I have here, I've got the RCA inputs. And so I can just plug in the, the uh, computer into the inputs here. So that will then be converted to a mic level coming out the other end of the box. And it also has a volume attenuator here so I can set the level of the box itself that's going out to the PA. Another thing they might have is you might have somebody with a cell phone, an iPad or something. There's so many gadgets out there nowadays, but they always have these same size eighth inch plugs on them and sometimes you might even run into a case where you might have to set things up like this and have a laptop and some type of iPad or something and this box here this one here is an art it's an AV direct audio video direct it's a nice box um, you can run multiple inputs at the same time obviously um, so this input here is coming from my mp3 player and so I'm now feeding two objects into here you may have one big rack unit or something that somebody's running out of and the more expensive stuff is going to have bigger outputs so you're going to need a cable like this that has your left and right and it comes into a stereo quarter inch but it's all quarter inch so the box also accommodates for that type of input so I can plug in there and then run this to any kind of other, other professional piece of audio gear that I that is needed during the show. So this is the three cables I always keep on hand because you never know what you're going to run into. And if I only carry this type here, but I need one of these, and I don't have one of these, <laughs> this type, then... I'm in a rock and a hard place because I only have one input with these kind of jacks on it. So it's nice because it gives you different options here to plug different pieces of equipment in. Now this, rack, this unit here, this is about as far as I've ever gone with it. I basically bought it to plug in laptops into it. Um, but it also accommodates for speaker level inputs. So you could come out of a stereo system or something and the speaker outs at speaker voltage and can plug right into this thing and still convert it to low level mic line and send it to your, uh, to your mixer. So that's how we handle getting electronic devices that are so prevalent in our world today into our PA. Now if you notice though, we come out of these objects in stereo all the components are running stereo and they're going into the box in stereo but they're not going to come out of the box in stereo they're going to come out of the box in mono because an XLR mic line is not stereo it's mono so it's summing those two signals into a mono signal within the box and going from a high input to a low output at the same time so they're extremely versatile you could even run a guitar rig into, you know, plug this into the left and right outputs of a modern floorboard for guitarists and not bring an amp at all. Just make sure your amp simulation's turned on. Plug it into this box and it saves you 
one of the other DIs that I've been talking about, which are just typical instrument DIs with one input and one output. So if you need to save room on, on your DIs, you could use this for that even, if you didn't need these uh, other input devices for the show. So these, uh, this one I think was somewhere between 40 and $70, I can't remember. I think it was like 55, 60, somewhere in there. It's still not terribly expensive, but boy is it great to have on hand. And I got the idea for this one from a pastor who was doing a show. Um, Lee Venden was doing a show and he had this with him. He takes it everywhere because he always uses his laptop for his evangelistic meetings. So he just went out and bought that. So obviously a lot of people out there do not know how to do this. And so he had to learn how to do it himself. So I'm passing it on to you and so that other people can figure out how to get their computers into their mixers because active musicians may be using backing tracks and you could be alone. You know, you're just a one-man show. You could have a laptop with all your backing tracks or even an MP3 player with all your backing tracks and run it into a device like this and that'll allow you to um, <clears throat> get all your backing tracks that you need for the show at your control on stage. So I hope that helps and uh, keep tuning in and hit the like button and subscribe and uh, as I'll keep turning out more and more of these audio videos. So I hope that you found it helpful and have a good day.